Hello and welcome to Badminton Unlimited. We are in Bangkok this week as we dedicate the next half hour to the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2022. A badminton fest of epic proportions were on show at the Impact Arena and we proudly bring you the best of the action and reaction from both competitions. Let's get started with the World Men's Team Championships, the Thomas Cup. After four days of intense battle in the group stage, this was how the teams were drawn for the quarterfinals. Defending champions Indonesia renewed their rivalry against China, while Chinese Taipei were pitted against 2014 champions Japan. In the other half of the draw, Korea faced European champions Denmark, with India and Malaysia squaring off in the remaining time. This is for the next generation to come from India, I think. We all want them to see that we are up there in the world. The South Asians proved that they are a force to be reckoned with after HS Pranoy clinched the winning point for his country. With the tie squared at 2 all after Malaysia's Aaron Chia Tio Yi Yi's triumph in the second doubles, the Indian contingent looked to their world number 23 to seal victory in the third singles. After shaking off early jitters, Pranoy was never going to let a historic opportunity slip. Second game I knew there was no chance for him because I just got into that zone and I just knew that I'm just not going to leave this chance. So I think I was really determined and I just wanted it for the team and I know how badly this win means to all of us. The Danes had Anders Skarup Rasmussen and Frederik Sogard to thank as they booked their place in the last four at the expense of Korea. Anders Antonsen's unexpected reversal to Jeon Hyuk Jin in the second singles had left the 2016 winners trailing 2-1 in the tie. The Korean put up a fearless display and was rewarded with a straight games victory. But the scratch pairing of Rasmus and Soga stepped up and incredibly saved three match points to level for the Scandinavians. It paved the way for Rasmus Gemke, who calmly finished off the job against Kim Yun Yu in the deciding match. Winning the last two matches, of course, is very, very important. So, uh, yeah, I'm very grateful about now. I'm, I'm happy for all the guys. So, we're looking forward to tomorrow's semi final. Japan's second doubles tandem also came to the rescue for their team. Single spearhead Kento Momota had given Japan a morale boosting start after claiming a 10th consecutive victory over Chinese Taipei's Cho Tianchen. However, Cho's teammates bailed him out by taking the next two points, leaving Japan needing a win from Akira Soga and Yuta Watanabe to stay in the tie. The pressure did not seem to bother the scratch combination as they came away with the 24-22, 21-14 conquest. Kenta Nishimoto then ensured Japan's progression with a no-fuss victory over 19-year-old Liao Zhuo Fu. In what was a repeat of last year's championship clash, Indonesia were once again convincing winners over 10-time champions China. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting set the Southeast Asians on their way with a confident boosting defeat of Zhao Junpeng. It was the world number five's first point contribution from the first singles after going winless in the group stage. Finally, I can get one point for uh, Indonesia team. So, of course, I'm feeling happy with my performance today because you know, like, I can really, really play very well. You know, like I can focus from the beginning until finish. So, and then you know, like I can play with my strategy. Mohamed Hassan, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamuljo were trusted as the main doubles pairing and did not disappoint. 
2-0 up and Jonathan Christie picked up from where he left off against Li Shi Feng with another comprehensive victory. Semi-finals day delivered an absorbing atmosphere. India locked horns with Denmark and the South Asians endured a difficult start after Lakshya Sen fell to the imperious Victor Axelsson in the opening singles. And Victor Axelsson thumps his chest. The pairing of Satwik Sairaj, Ranky Reddy, Chirak Shetty came to the rescue, but not before a gutsy flick serve converted their sixth match point against Kim Astrup and Matthias Christensen. And it's landed in, it's a brilliant flick serve. Um, I know they are like very strong in that 19 all zone. As I said, they will rush into the net. I wanted to make them surprised because we didn't do in the third game any flick serve. So they must be thinking, okay, I will do. But, and I am nervous in the 21 tournament. I'm not comfortable in doing short service. I thought, okay, let's do flick, then we'll see what will happen. Kadambi Srikant outlasted Anders Antonsen in an energy-sapping encounter, only for the Danes to even the tie through Anders Skarup Rasmussen, Frederick Soga. The stage was set for HS Pranoy to grab the headlines. The world number 23 didn't have the best of starts after twisting his ankle. After the slip it was hurting a bit lot more than usual and uh, was not able to lunch properly and uh, I was wondering what to do. Still, Pranoy battled on and with the pain starting to subside, the Indian shuttler came into his own. Keeping the pressure on Rasmus Gemke, Pranoy was relentless until India's winning point was in the bag. That's it. History is rewritten. I knew if I come into the second half with a good lead, then there is a big chance of uh, taking the game. And uh, I said to myself that I need to push this 11 points as much as possible with energy-wise. And uh, I think that strategy worked. There was no shortage of drama when Indonesia took on Japan in the other semi-final. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting continued on his path to recover his best form with another big win. This time claiming the scalp of two-time world champion Kento Momota. And Anthony Sinisuka Ginting delivers the first blow with his trademark crossbow smash. Reigning world champions Takuro Hoki, Yugo Kobayashi, was sent on next to bring Japan back into the tie. But with Mohamed Hassan, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumojo in mean mood, Indonesia pressed on to open a 2-0 lead. I think it's more lucky, not more experience. <laughs> Today we're more lucky, I think. Because yeah, we always under pressure from first set, second set and third set also very difficult for us. Just fighting. We don't think about the win or lose, but we, we keep focus and just attack, attack the opponent. However, Kenta Nishimoto and Akito Koga Yuta Watanabe somehow clawed back two points against their more illustrious opponents, leaving the tie finely poised at two apiece. It was a long wait for Shesar Hiran Rustavito before he took a position in the decisive third singles match, but the Indonesian was always ready. The 28-year-old used his experience to full effect against a young Kodai Naraoka who simply could not impose himself in the contest. 44 minutes in and Indonesia were through to their second successive Thomas Cup final. And he does it, 21-11 in the second. Bruce Savito has been commanding. Lima jam ya, saya di pertandingan ini menunggu untuk partai saya. Perasaannya sangat bersyukur, sangat Senang sekali bisa menyumbangkan satu angka untuk Indonesia dan menjadi penentu kemenangan Indonesia. Sangat senang sekali. In the closing stages, I was really nervous and uh, trying to uh, trying to overcome with the deep breaths. If there were jangling nerves, Lakshya Sen certainly dealt with it after grinding out an all-important first point for India when they took on Indonesia in the championship clash. Trailing 12-8 in the third game, Sen was coolness personified as he calmly nullified Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. He's done it. After interval, it's like, you know, like, that is the court, <laughs> you know, like, the, the all players struggle with, you know, like, because the win is going through the opponents, so we have to, you know, like, do the good strategy. 
I'm the better and I can uh, really play uh, play my game and open up and play and he'll be under pressure. So yeah, uh, that was in my mind and uh, yeah, I'm happy that I uh, pulled out a win in the third game. Indonesia's unbelievable talent in men's doubles would have made many believe they could nick a point. But in Satwik Sairaj Rankareddy and Chirag Shetty, India had every belief they could do likewise. It's one game all. Would you believe it? After saving four match points in the second game, the Twin Towers pushed on to claim a famous win over Muhammad Hassan, Kevin Sanjaya, Sukumuljo. It's simply incredible the way we played, the way Indian team is playing right now, with Laksh taking that for uh, four singles for us after not starting so well. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I think when they won their match, you know, I didn't really have to do anything. I didn't. I, 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 I only had to just uh, go out and enjoy, that's it. Kadambi Srikanth became the man of the moment as he secured the championship point for India. Jonathan Christie, who enjoyed that exact role for Indonesia just seven months ago, was now the vanquished opponent. It's not, not easy to play when India led 2-0 and I must win that game but I already try my best. The Asian Games champion offered little resistance in both games against Kadambi, who took full advantage to give India their first ever Thomas Cup title. No, he made no mistake this time, and it is championship points. Indonesia was swiftly dethroned to make way for the competition's newest kings. He's done it. And India have created history. The sixth different country to win the Thomas Cup. And they've done it in style. I think everyone, everyone really stepped up when it was really uh, required. Especially in the finals, if you are able to win and give that point to your team, you know, it's a, I feel it's a great achievement. And I'm just very happy that throughout this tournament, I. Uh, could really do that, you know, win, win, win my matches and then give those, give those crucial points for the team. It's a short break for now, but when we come back, witness Korea's amazing adventure in the Uber Cup. It's up next. And so Young has given Korea the all-important lead. <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of Badminton Unlimited's exclusive review of the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2022. Across four groups in the Uber Cup, these were the teams who made the cut to the last eight. 2018 champions Japan were drawn against Tai Su Ying's Chinese Taipei, while fellow tournament favorites Korea took on Denmark. Host Thailand entertained India in the other half of the draw while defending champions China faced three-time winners Indonesia. Akane Yamaguchi's defeat of world number two Tai Su Ying was the perfect anecdote after her shock loss to young Indonesian Bilkis Prasista in her previous match. Against Tai, the reigning world champion rediscovered her match-winning composure after three close games. もう自信が the rest of Japan's matches were also taken to the distance, but with the experience and quality in Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota, and Nozomi Okuhara, it was only a matter of time before the Japanese women marched to their seventh consecutive semi final. And Su Young kept up her unbeaten streak in the tournament despite Mia Blechfeldt's best intentions for Denmark. 
The young Korean was stretched to play a decider but stayed undeterred to open up a 1-0 lead. Lee So-hee, Shin Seung chan then showed steely determination in the first doubles to bounce back from an open game loss to Mike and Fro guard Sarah Toysen. Kim Ga-un would go on to win it for Korea. Thailand stayed on course to repeat their heroics of 2018 after overwhelming India 3 to nothing. The host's top women's singles player Rachanok Kintanon initiated the perfect start when she bested Olympic bronze medalist Prasala V. Sindhu in three games. She liked to play when I push and she tried to more attacking like that. that but at the beginning I still not ready for that and I tried to, after that I know uh, one or two shot, I try to cover every shot and prepare more, more faster when I push the shutter like that. It was straightforward stuff for the ties after that. John Kopan, Kititarakul and Rawinda Prajongjai proved too much to handle for the untested duo of Simran Singhi and Shruti Mishra. Poor Poe Chochuang faced little trouble in her second singles match to conclude the tie. We fought two points before me, like Lashenok and Jong Han and Levinda win two points and I'm confident now. <laughs> China took no chances when they sent out their best in the form of Chen Yufei and Chen Ching Chen, Jia Yifan, to quickly secure a 2-0 lead against a young Indonesia team. However, it wasn't too comfortable for He Bing Zhao. The world number nine needed three games to tame the fearless Bilkis Prasista before sealing her team's place in the last four. 确实，对手在前两局给我的压迫感还是还是很大的，然后我也会有一些在压力下会出现一些失误。确实，前面两局有点艰难。It was at this stage of the tournament last year that Korea was knocked out by Japan and the Koreans were determined to set the record straight in Bangkok. And Soo Young, up against the world's number one player Akane Yamaguchi, epitomized her team's resolve to exact revenge when she came from a game down to mount a brilliant comeback. What a shot! Oh, brilliant! And knew an opening win will go a long way to galvanize her team. And after 63 minutes of huffing and puffing, it was mission accomplished for the young Korean. And So Young has given Korea the all important lead. In the first round, the first start is the most important part of the first start. Oh, it's a lot of pressure on my team. So, when I finished the first round, 이겨냈다는 거에 되게 어, 좀 행복했었고 또 이제 다음 언니들이 좀 편하게 할수 있게끔 어, 제가 도움을 준것 같아서 되게 행복한 것 같아요. Buoyed by their young teammates heroics, world number two duo Lee So Hee, Shin Seung Chan put together a solid performance of their own to get past Nami Matsuyama, Chiharu Shida in straight games. 일단 첫 번째 단식에서 안세영 선수가 어려운 경기를 이겨줘가지고 저희에게 저희가 좀 그래도 그 막내가 좀 일본 단식에서 좋은 모습을 보여줬기 때문에 저희가 언니들로서 좀 몫을 좀 해줘야 된다는 책임감이 더 있었고 그리고 세영이가 좋은 흐름을 가져왔기 때문에 저희 일본 선수들도 더 긴장을 해서 저희가 승리를 가져올 수 있었던 것 같아요. Not to be outdone, Kim Ga-un completed Korea's spectacular triumph over their rivals with a stupendous winner. Oh, she's still fighting. Oh, oh. I can't speak. Oh. It's come back! Oh, oh my what God! A what have I just seen? Unbelievable! What a way to win it! The last time these two teams met here at the Impact Arena, Thailand staged a seismic upset when they shocked China en route to their runner-up finish. But no such fairy tale this time around. The Chinese were hell-bent on erasing the painful memories of 2018, starting with Chen Yufei's drubbing of Ratchanok Intanon. Well, in the end, the score was rather more one-sided than most people thought. Olympic silver medalist Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yi Fan spared no effort either. Despite not playing at the top of the game, Chen Jia was still too good for Jong Kopan Kititarakul and Rowinda Prajongjai. That'll do it. 21 15. They were nowhere near their best, the Chinese pair.
。我们知道在他们主场的时候，他们会发挥的更好。确实，今天上场的时候，我们自己给自己的压力也会相对相对大一些，因为确实想去弥补一八年在这边的遗憾，所以。呃，其实我觉得今天我们两个第一局打得并没有那么好，并没有放得很开。但是虽然说遇到了很多问题，但是我还是非常相信我们两个遇到困题、遇到问题的时候解决困难的能力。With a two-point cushion, Hu Bingjiao could calmly navigate her way past Pong Pui Chuchuang. Even if the weight of salvaging the tie was too much for her opponent, Hu was never in real trouble as she sealed China's winning points. It's gone wide. It's out, and that is the end. 21-15 again in the second game, as it was in the first, and it means that China are through. Record winners China were looking for Uber Cup number 16, and their title assault began in full earnest when Chen Yufei finally broke the stubborn resistance of An Suyong. No one could have doubted the Koreans' valiant effort on the day. Struggling with cramps and fatigue, Ahn threw everything she had against the Chinese star, but still came up just short in the third game. She is very stiff. This is the last game I've ever played. I'm very sorry. I've played seven, seven, six, but I've played seven times. I've played seven times, but I've played seven times. I've played seven times, but I've played seven times. 힘들 것 같기도 하고 좀 어려울 것 같기도 하는 것 같아요. 또 팀의 도움이 못 돼서 되게 아쉽네요. 不管是奥运会还是这个决赛，其实奥运会决赛，呃，我是起码是保持领先的。虽然也比分很焦灼，但是我领先的话压力可能没那么大。但这个就是一直落后，所以压力会比较大。But Korea pulled a point back through Lee So-hee, Shin Seung-chan in the following match. Despite having never defeated Chan Ching chen and Jia Yifan, the Korean duo finally found their breakthrough after three games. It was the perfect response to rally their team. Good serve. And they've done it for the first time in their sixth meeting. Lee So-hee and Shin Seung-chan a beat Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan. 일단 세영이가 어 체니페이 선수를 상대로 너무나 잘 싸워줬기 때문에 그 일본 단식의 부담감도 있을 거고 했는데 너무 잘 싸워줬고 저희가 그 세영이가 열심히 싸워준 거에 대한 보답을 해줘야 된다고 생각을 했기 때문에 저희도 더 끝까지 뛸수 있는 원동력이 되지 않았나 생각하고 있어요. Hu Bingjiao immediately thrusted China back into the lead. Kim Ga-un could not repeat the same verve and energy she displayed against Japan in the face of Hu's controlled performance. That's definitely gone wide. Hu's saying is called Xia Lu, Xiang Feng, Yong Zhe Shen. So, one v one, the time to beat each other is more strong, more strong. Because Jin Jia-an is also a very strong player, his attack is very strong, so. 虽然比分是这样，但是我每一分得的都很很不容易，我觉得。It was a big ask for scratch pair Kim Hae Jong and Kong Hee Young to restore parity for Korea, but the tandem duly delivered in straight games. 그냥 일단 저희가 어잘 나가는 쪽에서 하고 있고 저희가 파트너를 막 여기서 처음 하 해가지고 그냥 한점 일점 일점만 따자고 생각하면서 했던 것 같아요. It was down to either Sim Yu Jin or Wang Ziyi to make history. Many would have picked the recently crowned Asian champion Wang to clinch it for China, but it was her lesser known opponent who would etch her name in Uber Cup folklore. It's a very, very healthy lead. Sim's daring display paid the ultimate dividend as Korea lifted the Uber Cup for only the second time in history. They've done it. After 12 years, Korea regained the Uber Cup. 처음 이제 코트에서 좀잘 되는 느낌이어가지고 거기서 조금 분위기를 좀 잡아보자라고 했는데 응원석에서도 응원을 많이 해주고 그 소리도 좀잘 들렸던 것 같아요. 그래서 좀더 힘을 낼수 있었던 것 같아요. 개인전 우승한 것보다 좀 우승 목표를 안 해봤지만 
그래도 단체전으로 나와서 다 같이 우승해가지고 너무 기뻐요. We've come to the end of this episode, but please join us again next week as we listen to how Bei Win Zhang battled back from injury at Tokyo 2020. It's hard to just be accept in that moment immediately. I was like, I'm just sitting there, I was like, I couldn't even stand up right now. Also, a quick reminder to mark July the 5th on your calendar as we'll celebrate the very first World Badminton Day. Do check out corporate.bwfbadminton.com to see how you can experience and promote our beloved sport on this special day. Badminton Unlimited signing out. It's goodbye for now. <laughs>